If you can't beat them, join them. Or that's how the saying goes. Even though it's old as dirt, it's still more relevant today than it ever was. We see super teams forming in sports, social media, movies, and entertainment. Especially the best show on the planet. Down in the Bay Area, there is a team by the name of Golden State and it is the reigning NBA champion. On its roster, it's full of all-stars like Chef Curry, Clay Thompson, AKA the Splash Bros, and all-star Swiss Army Knife and Draymond Green. Oh, and not to mention the seven foot scoring machine, Mr. Pull Up In Your Mouth, AKA Slim Reaper, Kevin, the real MVP Durant. This year, you know what they did? They called the Cavs in the league and said, hey guys, guess what? I'm the captain now, and then hung up. They weren't looking for a reply because they straight up told them what's going on. Right now, they're poised to become a dynasty created solely by super teams. And I know what you're thinking, why would you create a super team if you're a star? Wouldn't that just ruin the playing field? And the answer to that is complicated because we're all interconnected, you know? It's no longer good enough to be the best in your school, city, or state because you're competing with the best of every other state and even every other country across the globe. It's become an international game now. And the top spots are limited. It's a simple scarcity of resources. Economics 101. I went to high school with a kid named Deshaun Hand. He was a pretty good football player. Um, let me think I got this right. He was 6'5", 270, and completely shredded. And he also happened to be the number one player in the country at the time. That meant every single college was coming out of the woodworks just to get him to come there. It became such a big deal that the school held its own little ceremony for him the day he decided to pick a college. And I remember this day so clearly because my 10th grade chemistry teacher, Miss Myers, said to us, I don't believe in celebrating individual achievement. So we watched him commit to Alabama live on ESPN. How about that? But that's starting to get me wonder, why would the top player go to the top program? Because there he's going to compete with the top player of every other state and a top player from previous generations. Why would he do that? And it hit me. Because steel sharpens steel. As the competition level rises, so does the chance to become a star. In the city of stars, there is a street, and on this street there is an apartment building. And in that apartment building live 17 young adults. You know, fairly ordinary people, you know, they like having fun, hanging out with friends. Oh, and by the way, they're internet famous. And these 17 people happen to be some of the top viners back in its day. So you're wondering, wait a second, let me see if I got this right. They lived on Vine Street. They made vines with their neighbors who were also viners. What is that, like a vine inception? A vine inception. Oh my god. For those of you out there wondering what was Vine, keyword was, it was a simple app that lets you make six second videos to share with your friends and other people out there for entertainment. It was really cool because you could stop and start again and make it look like you completely teleported to a foreign land. But these 17 people took it to a whole nother level and they created their own Vine community and a super team because of what they did. One person would collaborate with another, and then another, and then another, and another, and another, and another, and another. And you get the point, they created this giant sphere of Vine. It was impossible to compete with because how could you? 17 brains beat one. I mean, how else would a kid from Ohio even compete with them? Unless he moved there with them. You're probably wondering, why would they even create this super team? They're not even trying to save the world or anything. Avengers, assemble. You mean to tell me that the Avengers are a super team? Well, take a look at this. You got Conan the Barbarian, you got Optimus Prime, you got Shrek, you got Legolas, you got Mace Windu, Mr. United States. Ooh, and Scarlett Johansson. I mean, how else are we supposed to be saved from the clutches of Loki and evil if we don't have super teams? Because super teams get a bad rap. Because it's natural to hate winners because they make us feel worse about ourselves. That's a really good idea for another video. The 
truth is, super teams are created to accomplish a common goal. Whether that's win an NBA championship, make it to the NFL, become social media stars, or even save the world. By bringing the best and brightest together, you just doubled your chances, tripled, even quadrupled. How quintuple, centuple, centuple, octuple. Your chances of succeeding by that much more. Viewer discretion is advised. I want you to picture your lovely mom, Martha. Martha just walked into her doctor's office and was told by her doctor, Martha, you have four weeks to live. To her shock and surprise, she's like, why? What did I do wrong? Do I have something wrong? And he's like, yes, you have stage four breast cancer. And she's completely broken down in tears and she doesn't know what to do with herself. But you being the good son and daughter you are, decide, you know what? I'm going to do something. So you start scouring every form on Reddit and online, even going to the New England Medicine Journal to figure, how can I cure this? And then you start going to Susan G. Coleman. And you message her so much that she blocks you, gets a restraining order, and files harassment against you because you've tried your hardest. And then you try the next best step, which is scouring the globe for the best cancer doctors out there. In essence, what you've done is just created a super team by bringing the best information with the best people and putting it together. That's what a super team is, to accomplish one common goal. Was this dramatic? Yes. Was this intense? Yes. Was it completely unnecessary? Yes. But is it truthful? Yes. You see, as of today, it is August 12th, and it is the summer. That means with each day that passes, we come closer to a day of reckoning. Because winter is coming. Now, I want you... If you're not fully paying attention to this, I want you to pay 100% attention, focus. Don't take your eyes off the screen, because what I'm about to say is something that's going to change your life. That sounds cliche and corny, and it is, because we have the opportunity to witness a super team come together right before our very eyes right now, and it's what a time to be alive. On one side, you have a bastard leader, a clever girl, a crippled prophet and a cold-blooded assassin, joining a herd of horsemen, a mercenary army, three fire-breathing dragons, one clever dwarf, oh, and one queen of the Andals and the first men, protector of the seven kingdoms, Khaleesi of the Grass Sea, breaker of chains, mother of dragons, Daenerys mother f***ing Targaryus. And it's gonna be sweet when we see the north and the south come together on this one, and they're gonna mollywop Cersei and the Night King. It's gonna be pretty sweet to watch. Can't wait for Sunday. What are you still doing watching me? Go watch that. You're gonna have the chance to see them come together. If you miss this, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life.